I wanted to ask you this because I think a lot of audience members who have dealt with cancer or know someone with cancer, low energy is part of the reality of what people live through. True. How do you deal with your fatigue when you have no more energy? How does it affect you? Then how do you rise up from it? Or have you even risen up from it? That's such a good question, Gordon. In my fatigue, um, I'm paying attention to it. I think, first of all, instead of fighting it day and night, I'm acknowledging it. And by acknowledging it, it doesn't mean that I'm weaker. So it means that it's giving me an opportunity to work with the energy that I might get, even if it's very limited in a day, and optimizing that energy. So let me be very specific. Um, I'm wearing this aura ring because of Dr. Terry Harmon, and I noticed you have your wedding ring on and not your aura ring on today. <laughs> Sorry, Dr. Harmon. Uh, well, this ring has taught me so much about the cycles of energy that I really do have. It, it, it records heart rate variability. It records my sleep patterns. It records so many things. And it's so useful on this journey to understand the basically like the scientific readings behind it. Like, so I'm watching this understanding in my fatigue that, um, the optimal time for me to go to bed right now is about 8.30 or 9. And that is literally when my body needs to wind down. So instead of pushing it to that 10 or 11 o'clock at night thing, instead of pushing it to that last Netflix episode that we're so tempted to watch, you know, my body is saying, no, rest. So before I go to bed, I'm starting to read and I might make it through two pages right now. I used to read a book. You know, I could read half a book at night. I, I barely make it through two pages, but I'm so glad to make it through the two pages. I celebrate those two pages instead of cutting myself down about it. Right. So you, you, you've learned how to monitor and acknowledge the fatigue. I'm acknowledging it. I'm listening. I'm also working with my body instead of against it for the rest that it needs. Um, it, I never wake up and feel like I am completely like restored with fatigue. I don't right now in this season because of the, the immunotherapy I'm going through and other changes. I feel very s supported in the supplements that I'm taking. I honestly have a lot of energy for what I'm fighting, but there is still a fatigue. Um, how else do I deal with it? Do you want to hear the other ways? Yes, I do. Practically. This, this, these things came from Dr. Terry. They're helping me. I am walking um, every day outside. And it, sometimes that even drives you crazy. You're like, are you going out again? I'm going three miles a day outside. I'm walking um, no matter what. I'm getting the nature, the sunshine. Um, I'm grounding. This, this was so funny the other day. You're driving around the house and you're looking at me and I'm bare feet. I'm standing barefoot in our lawn, just standing there. I think you probably thought she has lost it. No, I, I, I really didn't. Grounding is, is very good. <laughs> I'm, I'm interested to see how you're going to do that when it snows. Oh, Lord, help us. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I might get, um, I don't know what to do. That's a good question. Um, infrared sauna. I've been driving across town to do that uh, four or five times a week. Hyperbaric oxygen. Um, all of those things on top of the supplements that Dr. Terry has recommended are the things that are helping me to break the cycle of uh, extreme exhaustion. And I would say for me, it's just, it's just dealing with some fatigue. But with that said, I don't know if it can be fully broken as we talked about. So the part about that that's so cool to me is it's continuing to evolve me outside of that I thinking, I can do this, I can take care of this, I can be there for my mom you know, 90% of the time, I can be there for you, I can be there for my work um, in the, I, I can't. Like I can be there, but what if I'm what if I'm 30% maximized in what I'm doing instead of 90%? I can give my best 30% right now. And it's gonna be powerful. But that's what I can give. And I have to count on the we 
in life, the community that we have and the God-given support, I've had to be vulnerable and know that this journey is not about me. It is a we journey. And to, and I'm so grateful for the community that has been there for us and the one that's forming as we speak.